In addition to Donovan Mitchell, Colin Sexton in that fourth quarter was a handful. I went back to look at it. So, again, what we're going to have to look at here, let's see how the Pacers defend the guards because Julius Randle. Turner had it stripped away. That was a lot of hand. But this is the other thing they're doing. They, they get out and run, Chris. Halliburton finds heel. Heel's problem. He's going to find Barrett. Is, I mean, he, Barrett is bigger than you think he is. Now, Hill may be 6'6". Six, six, six. Nimhart's a guy that, that does good things on the uh, defensive end as it's taken away defensively by Neesmith. Well, to your point, that was Neesmith being very physical. Here's Buddy for three. Got it. And if you, you watch what he's been able to do, and you wonder, what were people looking at? Yeah. Hey. Barrett inside, count it, and a foul. Pacers had a 12-5 lead, five straight points now by the Knicks. Randall 27 and 11 during this win streak, and he banks it in for his second and field goal. And he got away with a push off, too. And for Brunson, it's a chance to lead the team. I mean, he had a really good run with Dallas, but it's Luka Doncic's team. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think as much as anything, yeah, I think that's a part of it, Chris. Well, let me go. I'm going to play that far back. Tyrese Halliburton was 0 for 8. Veteran in the league, block shot, Neesmith got it back. Shot clock at two, Neesmith with the drive. He's had a heck of a start to the game. And the Pacers lead by four. Brunson back the other way. Favorite move is to drive you hard. Pump. They had 55 in Cleveland on Friday night. Randall for three. A 10-point first quarter for Julius Randall. Shot clock is off, quickly has it. Guarded by T.J. McConnell, high screen, Hartenstein, quickly the three. That's what he'll do, too. He'll get off that screen quickly. I mean, just some great battles between the Knicks and the Pacers. We'll have that answer for you coming up. Ooh, is that Jericho Sim? It is. Just underway, second quarter here at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Don't put your hands on, on Barrett. Barrett. Barrett's a tough cover. He's a tough cover for Matherin, too. I think he's had to, just because the nature of society, he's had to change some things about some of the things he's doing. Count it for Smith. Well, yeah, you, you got to earn it, though. I mean, that, that's a really good catch because I thought Sims was going to get it. Yeah, and I think he's had trouble with that. Duarte for three. Well, they called a long two. Duarte some credit because he found a way to reposition himself to get that shot. Smith. Nope. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I thought we were going to hit the back of the Fights for the rebound. Hartenstein got it. He's left a couple of those teardrops short. Because he, he, he didn't have to do that in college. He was big and strong enough in college. And big and strong oh. is Barrett. Brunson has come back in. Matherin got all the way there. And he needed to see one go in. And now Randall, this time long. There he is again. But Mitchell Robinson got it. First basket for Robinson. They have to grow into that. And then Rick's trying to be patient as he's learning to do that with Matherin. And that was the swipe through by Barrett, and he scores. Now the Pacers reset. Here's Matherin against Robinson. Takes him to the basket. Duncan. There you go. That's the recognition. Pacers down three. Halliburton inside, count it, and a chance for a three-point play. Quinn, to your point, how difficult is it when you don't play against a lot of left-handers? Your whole mindset has to change. Count the basket for Matherin. I mean, the pass was a lead pass, and it was too far. And Randall down the lane. Burton, Turner, Heald, Neesmith, Nemhar. That's how the Pacers started the game. That's how they start half number two. Buddy fades and hits. Good read on that one because he came across the screen. I wasn't sure if you could see. Grimes stumbles. Barrett has it. Guarded by Halliburton. Ready to shoot. Halliburton gets inside off the glass. And Tom Thibodeau calls a timeout. 
Brunson. And they will count that. It's a foul on Nemhar. Three of them for Buddy Heald. Again, 43 straight games with a three. 25 times this year, he's made three threes in a game. A good hang by Barrett. He's missing double figures, but he thought about it. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. You can tell the way he grabbed the ball. What I mean by that, these are aggressive shots where they're potentially a bad shots, but he's taking them anyway and making them. And that falls in for Barrett. Six in the quarter, 22. That's a minor turnover. Dri dribbled three. off my foot. Here's a three by Neesmith, and it is in. He's a touch it in. He comes off the screen quickly and shoots. Got to go attack it here. And it goes in for Neesmith. <laughs> he is such an enthusiastic player. And quickly missed it. Rebound Duarte. It was challenged by Smith. Quickly didn't see the basket as clearly as he'd like to. Good strong move by Smith, but, but Indiana pushed it up. And then they'll play in the final weeks of the regular season in April. A game here and a game at MSG. Here's a three in the corner, and it's hit by Miles McBride. Barrett front court against Jackson. Boy, what a move. That's why you able to get it up the floor fast. Here's McConnell lays it in. Give him the world and Dervish to go with it. Shoot it out. Smith's going to drive it all the way in. Put it up off the glass and got it. He put it up. Challenge by Hartenstein to get it off the glass and in. He and Jackson are out there together. Again, two bigs for the Knicks. One of those with the ball, Hartenstein. Who makes the pass? He, he, I'm telling you, he, he's more than a serviceable, back, serviceable backup. He was a second-round draft pick by Houston back in 2017. Duarte gets oh, yeah. to the basket. Oh, yeah. That was a confident move there. Miles Turner, Aaron Neesmith wait at the scores table. Yeah, that's why they're at the scores table, because you can see the pieces. They get a basket out of it, but you can see the struggle to score. Quickly off the Randall screen. And Emmanuel quickly, just a second field goal. He has five. Buddy healed back in. Nee Smith Dunk it. down the lane. A new career high for Aaron Nee Smith. He's got 21. The Pacers would have probably preferred Robinson at the free throw line. And he put it in on the rebound. Rhymes for three. I can see that move his hand. <laughs> Buddy Heald has come back in. This is tough here. Here's a step back three by Buddy. <laughs> Buddy Heald. Turner got it. Lee Smith knocked it out after it was missed, but Turner protected early. Does Lee Smith get the finish? Deservingly. He has played one whale of a game. Everybody on the face of the side like this hat set down just a little bit. Oh, don't go away from him. They, they switched. Yeah, they switched it. Buddy. They're making Buddy put it on the floor. Great play by Buddy. Ah, that Brunson. And Brunson makes it a one-point game. You don't have to be in a hurry going down on the offensive end. I mean, you want to get the ball up, but you don't have to be in a hurry. You can get a good look, so... You, know, you, you may be able to get Turner on a trail. New York trying to win its seventh straight game. It's six straight on the road, and they're up three. If he shoots it, you won't be able to see if it goes right. They okay, opted to make it. Uh, yeah, he, he opted to make it. He made them both. Halliburton, three seconds. Two seconds from half court, lets it fly, and it's off. And the New York Knicks rally from a six.